Hey everyone, welcome back to the stream, welcome back to another video. Um, we're going to be continuing on the Su-57, so let's get into it, shall we? Yeah. Alright, so... Let's get into this, guys. What are we doing today? Well, this is part six. And part six, I figured we're gonna dedicate to painting. As you guys saw in the last one, um, we assembled some landing gear. We got that done. Well, this is, the f this is the front. And then we have our mains. I just put them in here just to keep them. So we got our main landing gear, okay? These guys are done. We did those last time. So I got a bunch of painting to do. And I got to paint this guy gray. And uh, we're going to be doing the same camouflage pattern as this. Okay. Um, we'll go to full screen on the overhead here so you can see. Um, it's kind of <laughs> washed out a little bit. Let's try this side. Is that any better? No, that's even worse. Okay, forget about it. Um, let's go to this one. Um, this guy here, okay, if I can get it. We're doing that, okay? And, um, yeah. So, that means I need to use a lot of the light gray. We're going to utilize that first. As you can see, obviously, I've done all this uh, nice little white squiggly lines everywhere on both sides. Do to do. So, let's put some paint in our airbrush and let's get to it. Now, I do have the advantage. This is the airbrush that I used to paint all those squiggly lines. Okay, this is the, uh, the Creos PS771. This one is called the Custom. This one's got a 0.18 needle in it. And that's how I did all these nice tiny little lines. And it's a nice little thing and that it's it's friggin' great. But I'm gonna be using this one to actually paint the thing. This is another Creos brush. This is the PS289. And this one has a 0.3 needle in it. So I'm gonna get a nice little bit wider spray pattern. And that's kind of what I want. I don't need to do super fine on it. Now I'm no professional at airbrushing as you guys know I've only started airbrushing within the last year and so it's gonna be fun. If I can get that to lock in. There we go. Good to go. Alright. I have taken the liberty of adding some thinner to my paint so I don't even have to do anything. I can just pour straight out of the bottle and we can start getting to work on it. I will change the camera um, to my painting cam, as I call it, um, so you can see all my stuff. You can watch me as I go along and struggle, <laughs> for lack of a better term. I have these two guys here. This was one big long piece. Um, if you want to display this thing with the missile base closed, you have this piece here, okay? I, of course, I'm not doing that, but it's going to help with masking. See, I started, this was my first test piece when I started spraying that thing, spraying all this stuff. This works as a great little masking piece to put down in there so that I don't get any overspray on my missiles. So, yeah, that's why I've done that. And nicely enough, it doesn't really matter which is front and back as far as putting it in there just as a masking device. Could I put paint in? Could I put tape in there? Sure, I could run a strip of tape across there, but why waste the tape when I've got this, right? So, I have that. Okay. So, paint should be shaking up enough now. I gotta get my paper towel ready, my screwdriver, and let's put 
pour some meat in here. like to wipe up the threads. It's a pet peeve of mine to have paint on the threads. Just one of my things. All right, so we've got some paint in our little cup. A little test spray. Make sure it's flowing. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to switch the camera and uh, we can continue on. Hi. <laughs> We're over here now. Okay, I'm not going to be talking much. Um, I'm just going to be spraying and uh, yeah, so here we go. I'll do the bottom first. I want the I want the subtleness to be a lot. I don't want a lot of distinction. I don't want to really see a whole lot of these lines. And that's why I'm doing a lot of coverage. On the camera here, it looks like I've totally wiped it out, but in real life, you can still see a lot of it. You can still see a lot of that mottling or color squiggly line stuff going on. middle section next so I need to mask that off.
Looks a little bit more refined, and I like the look of it better. Um, you can, you can still see it, even though you guys can't see it. You guys can't see it. It is quite uh, still visible, seeing all that squiggly line stuff under there, and uh, I like that. This, however, I don't like. So. Looking pretty good. I still might come back and do a little more. Just to refine it a bit. These planes are quite new and they shouldn't really look all that old. So, you know, it's not a Sukhoi 33 or whatever. It's a 57. And well, there you go. There's the bottom side. Bottom side done. Ta-da! Yeah, there we go. Okay, we flip this over, and we have the top side to do. Okay, so my paint is getting a little thick in the cup, so it's about time to change it up. Okay, so we're gonna things back to here. Uh, thank you Rat Pack. Sorry I was uh, obviously focused on this thing over here and not looking at the chat. So sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take a little break and clean out my brush. And then we'll get back at it. Okay. So I've got paint in my cup again. And uh, let's keep on working here. I'll switch the camera again. So sorry, Rat Pack, if I don't reply right away, I'll be kind of focused on this thing for the next little bit. So I'll switch the camera and you get to watch me again. Here we go. Hello again. <laughs> All right, let's flip her over. Don't need these anymore. All right. I should actually put my chat over there so I could at least glance back and respond a little bit. All right, let's start with the wings again.
Okay, so that's going to be good enough for that. Um, it looks sick, the plane I mean. Thank you. This is a uh, Sukhoi 57, or Su-57. It's a Russian's an Russia's answer to the F-22 Raptor. <sighs> a little bit of dust on there. All right, let's continue. Let's see. Uh, only shoes I've done is 34. Oh, I'm done dying to do them. I do love that appreciating effect you're giving it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, a lot of this stuff in the middle is not going to be really noticed very much because there's going to be a whole different color being laid down kind of all around in this area here. So it's going to be hidden. All this stuff in here is going to be kind of washed away a little bit. Just why I'm not worrying about too much coverage with the gray on this part here. It's you. Most of it is going to be around the edge, as far as the gray is concerned, anyway. it's all about subtlety. I'm going to change the camera here. Now you can see my face again. And uh, we're going to clean up my brush because that's about it, at least for now. I 
obviously I still have to do the wings and I have to do the landing gear bay doors and the missile bay doors. Perfect. All right. So that's that. Leave back on here. All right. So now that we can see on this camera, I'll show you guys what she looks like. So. As you can see, especially on, uh, well, you can see on both cameras, really, um, the slight variations between the panels, and that's what I wanted. And yeah, this one looks a little bit light in there compared to the rest. I could go over it again, but at the same time, I have to do, I have to think about the camouflage. So as I showed you before, here's our camouflage pattern that's on this thing. So a lot of this gray, especially in the middle here, that's all going to disappear. So don't, I'm not really worried too much about in this area here and going up to the top of the cockpit here. Um, it's really just the edge of these wings as it comes around here that I really wanted to focus on and uh, have cleaned up. And then of course the bottom, there's nothing on the bottom except the gray. So let's flip it over, see if I'm happy with this. Um, I think it looks pretty good the way it is. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the coverage I got on the bottom here. Um, slight, slight hint of the modeling, the uh, modeling, or as they say, um, the discoloration. You can see it pretty good on that camera. This one's not so much. The color's kind of funny. What if I went to straight to overhead only? It's just a little, I got it too bright. I gotta adjust this. I'll adjust that later. Brightness has turned up too much. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I just wanted to do a little bit of it. I don't want a lot of weathering done on this because these planes are really quite brand new and uh, they haven't seen a lot of weather yet on them, I guess you could say. It's not like a, an old Navy plane, like an F-18 or an old F-14, where they just get attacked with the salt water and it just attacks their finish, right? Um, these things don't encounter that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it, that being said, you know, obviously I do want some realism, some stuff like that, but, uh, yeah. So, I have a little bit more to do, but I'm going to do that at a later time. I've got to do all these little pieces here. That's nothing special to do, really. It's all these little guys. And, uh, then we'll get to masking for the camouflage and we'll do that color but we're gonna have to do that next time um, so Rat Pack thank you for uh, the chat thanks for coming out um, and uh, thank you guys all for coming out if you haven't already done it head on over to my YouTube and uh, you can uh, check out my other videos and stuff like that other things I built if you're watching this on YouTube then why not hit the like button and subscribe too and uh, just like Rat Pat's doing, he's going to check out my Instagram. You can see all the still pictures of stuff that I've built in the past uh, on my Instagram. And uh, you can check out my Twitter too if you want. It's the same stuff. Whatever. Um, but that being said, I'm going to leave it there for now. I want to thank you guys for coming out. And thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I guess we will see you all in the next one.